Betelgeuse, the bright red star in the Orion constellation, has fascinated humans for centuries. It's not just another twinkling light in the sky, it's one of the largest and brightest stars that we can see with the naked eye. For a long time, it remained constant, a blowing gem in the shoulder of Orion. But in recent years, its behavior has become unpredictable, and this sudden shift has caught the attention of scientists around the world. What makes Betelgeuse so special is that it's a red supergiant, a star in the final stages of its life. These stars are incredibly massive and live fast, sharp lives compared to smaller stars like our Sun. Betelgeuse is roughly 650 light years away, which might seem distant, but in cosmic terms, it's practically in our neighborhood. This closeness means that any major event, like a supernova, would be visible from Earth, possibly even during the day. In late 2019 and early 2020, something unexpected happened, Betelgeuse began to dim significantly. This event, later dubbed the Great Dimming, sparked both curiosity and concern in the astronomical community. People from all over the world, both professionals and amateur skywatchers, noticed the change. For a star that had remained so steady in brightness, this was highly unusual. The dimming led many to believe that Betelgeuse was preparing for a supernova explosion. A supernova is a cataclysmic event that marks the death of a massive star, releasing more energy in a few moments than our Sun will in its entire lifetime. Some scientists speculated that Betelgeuse could explode at any moment, while others urged caution, pointing out that stellar life's cycles are complex. Then, just as mysteriously as it dimmed, Betelgeuse brightened again. By 2023, its brightness had reportedly increased by 142%, as observed and shared by Betelgeuse bot on Twitter. This data was supported by the American Association of Variable Star Observers, AFSO. The sudden spike in brightness was unprecedented and pushed Betelgeuse from the 10th to the 7th brightest star in our night sky. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, Betelgeuse is easy to spot during the evening. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's becoming more prominent, especially as the nights grow longer. Stargazers are keeping a close eye on it, hoping to witness what could be a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. Betelgeuse is located at the end of its stellar life cycle. It spends its last days fusing heavier and heavier elements in its core. At first, it fuses helium into carbon, then oxygen, silicon, and finally iron. Iron is a dead end for fusion, it doesn't release energy. When enough iron builds up in the core, the star can no longer support its own weight, and it collapses under its gravity, triggering a supernova explosion. This explosion could be bright enough to outshine an entire galaxy, if only for a few weeks. It wouldn't harm us physically, there's no dangerous radiation at that distance, but it would create a spectacular light show. Scientists believe it might be so bright that it could cast shadows at night and remain visible even under broad daylight. Ancient civilizations like the Greeks and the Aboriginal Australians had already observed Betelgeuse and kept records of its brightness. But now, the star is behaving differently. Its brightness cycle, which used to last around 400 days, now seems to occur every 130 days or less. This faster cycling is another sign that something is changing deep within the star. Dr. Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, offered an important insight. She explained that in 2019, Betelgeuse may have ejected a large cloud of gas from its surface. This gas cloud likely obscured the star's light, causing the great dimming. She believes this ejection is part of the star's gradual decline, a process that might take years or even decades to reach its final explosion. A recent joint study by Harvard University and UC Berkeley suggests that Betelgeuse might take five to ten more years to settle into a normal pattern, if it ever does. 
but they also caution that stars don't always follow the rules. It could surprise us and explode sooner. Or it might stabilize again and continue its unpredictable journey. Being a red supergiant, Betelgeuse has a massive and turbulent outer layer. Observations from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other ground-based instruments have shown huge gas bubbles moving across its surface. These movements look like giant waves and have been compared to a boiling pot of soup, with gas rising and falling chaotically. These surface changes may be one reason the star's brightness shifts so suddenly. Even more fascinating is what scientists have discovered in other parts of the spectrum. Infrared and radio observations have shown strange patterns in Betelgeuse's emissions, patterns that aren't seen in other red supergiants. These anomalies suggest that we still have much to learn about how massive stars live and die. Betelgeuse also emits gravitational waves and neutrinos, which are invisible particles that pass through almost everything, including Earth. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, scientists expect to see a burst of these neutrinos, which would be a groundbreaking moment in astronomy. It would mark the first time we observe a supernova in real time, not just through light, but also through neutrinos and gravitational waves. Dr. Jessica Liu, an astrophysicist at UC Berkeley, emphasized this point, we are entering an era where we can watch stars live and die in real time. This is an extraordinary moment in human history. Betelgeuse is like a cosmic laboratory, teaching us lessons about the universe right from our own backyard. Machine learning is also playing a growing role in Betelgeuse research. Scientists are feeding vast amounts of data into AI systems to help detect patterns that humans might miss. These systems can analyze thousands of data points in seconds and help predict future changes with more accuracy. This new approach is changing the way we study the cosmos. Professor Peter Grove from the University of Portsmouth likened Betelgeuse's behavior to a volcano. It's like waiting for an eruption. You see the warning signs, but you don't know when it's going to happen. This analogy is especially fitting, as the star seems to run more with activity, keeping scientists on edge. If Betelgeuse does explode in our lifetime, it would be the first visible supernova since the invention of the telescope. Past supernovae, such as SN 1987A, were visible only with scientific instruments or for a short time in specific parts of the world. Betelgeuse, being so close, would be visible to everyone on Earth, marking it as a truly global event. And there's more. If the supernova results in a neutron star or a black hole, it would offer scientists a chance to study these exotic objects more closely. These remnants are incredibly dense, and their formation helps us understand the physics of extreme environments, conditions we could never replicate on Earth. Supernovae also play a key role in the creation of elements. Heavier elements like gold, platinum, and uranium are born in these explosive moments. In fact, Everything from the calcium in our bones to the iron in our blood was once forged in the heart of a dying star. So, in a way, Betelgeuse reminds us of our cosmic origins. Astronomers around the globe continue to monitor Betelgeuse using optical telescopes, space telescopes, radio dishes, and neutrino detectors. Every tiny change is recorded and analyzed. Even if the star doesn't go supernova soon, it's still giving us a wealth of data. This data is helping scientists fine-tune models of stellar evolution, making future predictions more accurate. There's also the human side to this story. Betelgeuse has sparked wonder and imagination in people of all ages. Schools are including it in science lessons. Artists are drawing what a daytime supernova might look like. Children are asking, will we see it explode? The excitement is infectious, and it's drawing more people into the world of astronomy and space science. In many ways, 
Beetlejuice is a reminder of the dynamic universe we live in. It's not static, it's full of motion, transformation, and mystery. Whether or not we see it explode, the lessons it teaches us will ripple through science for years to come. New discoveries keep coming in. Recent observations suggest that Betelgeuse may have a companion star, possibly a smaller star orbiting within its gas envelope. If confirmed, this would change our understanding of how such massive stars interact with nearby companions. The presence of another star might even explain some of Betelgeuse's strange dimming and brightening patterns. Another exciting discovery involves the magnetic field around Betelgeuse. Scientists using polarized light have detected signs that the star might have strong magnetic activity, a surprising trait for a red supergiant. This magnetic field could be influencing how the star sheds its mass, adding another piece to the puzzle of its ultimate fate. And still, the mystery continues. As of today, Betelgeuse is bright and calm, but that could change at any moment. Every observation, every new discovery, adds a little more to our understanding. We may never predict exactly when it will explode, but we're better prepared than ever to watch and learn from it. So, if you've ever looked up at the sky and wondered what secrets it holds, keep your eyes on Betelgeuse. It's a living lesson in cosmic drama, a dying star putting on one final performance. It could explode tomorrow, or in a hundred years, but whenever it does, we'll be watching. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.